Hello out there. So this is a how-to video for putting our photos. This is Zephon. Hey, Zephon. We're putting um, our photos onto a colored image. The previous way I've done this is two ways. I've either used transfer paper, which is a sheet of paper you put in between the source and the image, and by Pressing on the source on the source image, the image, as as the name suggests, transfers into onto this. Now, transfer paper can be expensive; uh, it tears easily. So instead, we're going to try using our pastels as transfer paper. The other thing about pastels that are nice, and hopefully this works, is you can choose a color that will show up well on your um, final uh, final paper. So for example, if my transfer paper was gray, gray wouldn't show up on green very well, but white should do just fine. So to double check before I spend five minutes doing this, I'm going to do a test. So I'm gonna cover the back, with just a little bit of white, and then I'm gonna flip the source image over and just trace it and see if it transfers at all. I'm gonna start with a pencil. So here's Ephon and the outside of his hair, and then there's the fence behind it, but I'm only doing the image of him. Oh, pretty good. Uh, hopefully that shows up, but I, I can see it okay. There's the white line here and the white line there. So that tells me, yeah, this should work just fine. So I'm gonna put the pencil uh, down. I'm gonna also try, this is a ballpoint pen. I'm gonna try that later too. So go ahead and take your photo when it's time and you're gonna cover the back of your image, which is a photo of you, and cover it as well as you can. If you have to peel off, uh, peel off some of the wrapper around your pastel, go ahead. Uh, uh, uh. It's gonna take most of the videos, just peeling the pastel paper. All right, so cover that up, and we're not, you're not gonna, well, cover that up, blah, blah, blah. I digress. And then I'm also holding it up to the light to see where, because that, you know, the white is pretty light. You can also use a yellow, uh, tan, pink, something, something else bright like that. All right, so that, uh-oh, it broke. It broke! I need a new one! No, you don't! Thanks, Darn Dog. He's right. I don't need a new one. All I need is to use what I have. If that doesn't work, meh. Figure it out later. Cop. There we go. So I feel like I have good coverage. I'm gonna turn this over. The important thing here is to use uh, either blue tape or at your tables you have masking tape. Masking tape works fine. I'm using the blue because it. Um, I have it on my dispenser. Plus, it um, it has slightly it's slightly less sticky. So I like I like uh, painters tape for that reason. So I'm going to tape on two sides because as I do this, I want to flip up to see where I've gone and where I haven't gone. So yeah, it looks like two, two would be good enough, but you don't want one because you don't want the original image to shift on the paper because then you might have your eyes up here and your mouth down there, which could be really cool. That could be a real nice surrealist type of um, image, but that's not this activity. So now I'm going to try the ballpoint pen to see and I'm gonna start up here because the ballpoint pen has a metal tip which may transfer the pastel better onto the image below it. So I'm tracing along, going along the edge of Zephon's hair and there's a shadow over here. I might follow the shadow for just a little bit. And yeah, the shadows are kind of interesting. And I'm gonna follow the shadow and there's his eyebrow and the shadow under his eye, and then the shape of his eye, the pupil, the nose, and once I get to the nose and the mask, then I'm gonna f uh, lift this up to see how it's transferred so far, and see if I need to try something else, or, oh, I didn't get all of the hair, or if I can just uh, keep going. Now you don't wanna go too, you know, if you go slower than I do, that's great, you definitely don't want to go any faster than I am. 
I still I feel like I'm going even even now that this is faster than I would recommend. I've been drawing for over 40 years, so I have a very quick hand. Oh, let's see. Oh my goodness. Can you see that? Oh, that looks so good. Oh. Kind of wish Zephon was here to do this himself. Hope you're doing well out there, Zephon. Miss you, buddy. Zephon is on independent study. And he's going to be doing remote learning. So good luck to him and his family with that. And I, woo, I'm just thrilled with the way this came out. So maybe, maybe we can give, somehow we can get this to him and his family. All right, so I'm going to go down to where his uh, shirt collar, I've got a shirt collar and his shoulders. And do do do. All right. And that is just about it for this video. Of course, what you want to do is you want to get all the details. Again, okay, I'm going way faster than a nine or 10 year old should go. Uh, but, you know, I like to commit. If I start a five minute video, ah, I'm at six minutes. All right. So that, and I'll take it all the way off now because I think you get the, I think you get the gist here. All right, that is, uh, I gotta find the right angle. Yep, that looks to be pretty good. All right, there you go. How to use pastels and a ballpoint pen uh, to transfer a photo onto construction paper or whatever the watercolor paper is you did. All right, aloha, au revoir. I got some apples to eat. Mm. You gonna share it? Darn dog.